Hey Motor America fans, this is Max Flinders. Make sure you go to Motor America YouTube channel and sub uh, subscribe, comment, like. If you see me, definitely put a thumbs up. The lights gonna be on when they turn off. It's time to line them up. Come on, Super Motor America, Superbikes at the Ridge. Twins Cup are gone. Anthony Maziano on that inside, and he gave up position to Jackson Blackman early on. Look at Caleb DeCarroll moving into second. Look at that run for fourth. Looks like Anthony Maziato held on to third, but definitely a great start for Jackson Blackman and Caleb DeCarroll. Yeah, that, that, looked, that looked very timid out of Maziato, didn't it? And that's what these guys need to do with the pace that he has. They need to not let him get the whole shot and, and, uh, and pull away. They need to try to get up there in the lead and control the pace and keep him behind them as long as possible. Do you think that was a case of them being wanted to be extra aggressive, or do you think that was a case of Maziato trying to make it safe through that first I turn? I think it's a little bit of both, but definitely those guys not wanting to let him get away. Well, that's why I was wondering. It. Maybe the Velocity team said, hey, don't do anything crazy, anything stupid. I, I think back to other classes and other races, we always heard how fast Max Top, who he's trying to build that bike for later on as we have a pass for the lead. Caleb DeCarroll puts his Aprilia up to the top. Look, driving around the outside. Now we're seeing Jody Berry on the white Aprilia. His head's in the right place now. Because if he slows the pace down, uh, that will obviously conserve the tires. I don't know what you think, Roger, but these guys have never raced in these kind of conditions. It could be just a thought. Let's get to the front. Let's slow the group down. Let's keep the group together, but preserve the tires towards the end. It's, it, it's a thought, Raj. If that's your strategy, then, you know, if you're having some tire wear and you want to kind of slow the first couple laps down, then you definitely want to want to be in the lead, but also somebody like Anthony Maziato, who's had a lot of pace this week. You don't want to see him at the front. Oh, no. Chris Parrish. He had an off-track excursion earlier, I think, uh, in the morning qualifier. This is the first time we've seen him go down this year in a race, and that's unfortunate for him at his first time to the ridge. Looks very smooth under braking. I'm not hearing, you know, we've heard a lot of chatter and stuff and a lot of skidding of the tires. I'm not hearing that oh, right now. Oh, down. and down, out in front. He looks so smooth until everything went wrong for Anthony Maziato. He's got to get it back. He's still in third place right now. He had a five second advantage over Teague Hobbs. Now Caleb DeCarroll knows he's racing for the win, not just a battle with Jackson Blackman. Oh no. Jackson, I think has, has enough speed to to make the move, but he's going to need to stay a little bit closer to that first split. Caleb DeCaro pulls a little bit out on him. He makes it up out of... Oh, but I bump. Caleb's going to try and go underneath here. You can see it coming. I think Caleb was having a man... I think the tires have, feel like they're kind of away for Caleb, and you see how he's trying to do all that straight line braking. But we've seen Jackson last lap caught him a lot on the brakes there. Yeah. I think he just doesn't want to put the pressure to it, and he knows his championship's looking even better. And also, now he can gauge Jackson. Maybe he didn't want to lead going at 11. Maybe he wanted to be in second. Last lap, here we go. Let's find out. Can Jackson Blackman get his first victory in Twins Cup? Big leg dangle for Jackson Blackman. Caleb trying to shut it down. I'm telling you, he's having a hard time under breaking, isn't he? And also, Jackson yeah. just looks like he's really strong in this part of the track. And there's where Jody Berry went down when he was out in front. Thought he had the race won about a 1.3 second advantage. You can get a good round on that last turn. And you can tell, or excuse me, Maziano going down. You can tell DeCarroll wanted it, pushed a little too hard. Drag race down to front straight and a victory for Jackson Blackman. The 18 finally bringing it home for his Yamaha team. Dad here in attendance, and you can see what it means to him. It was a strong run by Caleb DeCarroll. Power wheelie galore. And patience is a virtue for Jackson Blackman. I thought with him being young, maybe a little less experience, he might do something drastic, but that one block, block pass really cost him. I am curious to see that last pass for the lead just a lap ago. Jackson Blackman going to the inside here. It's right into turn 13. Did a really good job getting it slowed down right here toward the apex where he didn't blow the corner. And at this point, Caleb Carroll says, I can go underneath, but it sure did look like he was really wanting to straight line break. He didn't want to tuck the front. Look at J Jackson didn't run very wide. Didn't no. get an opportunity. Did a, did a really good job getting it stopped.